Hi everyone, Ian here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can use Poetry for package management for your own Python packages and publishing them to PyPy. I've covered a few different Python packaging options so far in other videos. Poetry is the one newest one that I have experience with, so I thought it would be good to cover in a video it, so you can see some of the differences from it to pipenv and uh, the vmv module. The main difference with Poetry versus other tools I've covered so far is that it's both built for dependency management and packaging. So we can simplify our project's installation with Python dependencies into isolated environments, and then we can later publish them for others to use on PyPy. As with my other tutorials on package management, let's first quickly revisit why package management is useful in the first place. So if we install modules globally using something like pip, we wouldn't be able to have um, different versions of our packages. We'd only ever be able to use a single version of a library when it's installed, and we'd have to update that single version and it would impact all other projects which we're using on our system. So if we want to separate them, we use virtual environments, and in order to manage those virtual environments, we use a package management tool like Poetry. We also get the benefit that we're able to track our environment in a dependency file, which means it can be captured under version control, and uh, means that we can uh, create a reproducible build so that others can recreate it on their own systems. So. To finally kick off, let's talk about some of the installation methods that Poetry offers. So the recommended install method is using this curl command. Um, it's going to vendorize its uh, own dependencies and so it kind of sits isolated from the rest of the system. So this is the best way to install it. Um, you can install it using pip but it's not recommended. So to begin, I am going to, I've already got Poetry installed in my system, I should point out. So to begin, I'm going to create a new project. So how to use Poetry. So it's created a new package for me. And if I open that with um, VS Code, I can see a few things about it. So the first thing is that we've scaffolded a bunch of different things. Um, we have a readme, which is empty. We have a pyproject.toml, which is kind of a representation of everything. Um, so we have our dependencies in there, and we have some information about who we are and description of the package, the version of it, etc. And we also have this test folder. So it's already created the first test for us, which is asserting the version of the package. We have this package top folder so that we can put all our other stuff in it. Um, and you can see that our test is importing from that folder there. So first things first, let me switch this to the correct version of Python that I want to use, which is 3.9.5. Um, uh, do, do, do the Python version and VS Code will actually set that in here so we can see VS Code's popped up in there as well. Uh, let's pull open our terminal. So now let's add some packages or we'll add our first package. So poetry add. Let's add requests because everyone uses requests. So the first thing to note is that Poetry actually works asynchronously versus something like pip, which resolves dependency synchronously. So it should work much faster for a lot of things. So it's pulling down all those dependencies at the same time rather than just waiting for one to finish before the other next. So if we look now, our Py project has requests in it. It has the latest version of requests specified. And it's also generated the poetry lock file. So we are similar to a pip file dot lock. Uh, it lists all of our 
dependencies and our dependencies are dependencies meaning that we can create this reproducible build that we need for other people on our team let's get rid of that so so far this is very similar um, aside from uh, this command here to pivm so instead of install we've used add and um, yeah, we don't have to specify a name for the virtual environment, similar to pivenv, it's different to the VMV module. We can pull up some details on the environment that's been created, because we've actually created this virtual environment for now. So if you put poetry env info, we can see the path to it, and we can um, see some information about our system as well. So we can also install dev dependencies. So if you do poetry add pytest and black. Now what you should find here is that pytest doesn't actually get installed um, because it's already been installed. I'm actually hanging there for some reason. Pop out of that and try again. There we go. Um, and we'll see those two things added into our dev dependencies in Py project as well. So if we want to jump, let's clear out this for a sec so we don't have all that stuff there. So if we want to use the actual shell using the poetry modules, then we can do that. We can see that we are using the shell by importing the request module which doesn't fail, so it means that we are in the right place. Um, we can come out of that again. Uh, another way of doing that would be just to use poetry run, again, similar to how we would do things with pipenv. We can also pin dependencies, so using, um, similar to how we do things with Again. So you can use poetry add request 220. Uh, capture what it is at the moment so we don't mess things up. And you can see that that gets downgraded to the version. Um, let's change it back. If we want to install everything from a poetry file, then we would use poetry install. So this is going to and this is going to install everything. Um, in fact, actually, it's not poetry install here because we've just made a change. So we need to run update. And there we go. So we've jumped from 2.2.0 to 2.2.5.1. <laughs> So if we want to interact with a pip style environment, we can export. So we can do export and we get a requirements.txt style file. And so we can use that in an environment elsewhere if we need a requirements.txt. So we don't have a lot in this. We don't have actually any code that we've written at this point. But the thing that I really want to show is the benefit that you get from poetry in terms of packaging. So this is really useful if you're wanting to write your own packages. Poetry comes with built-in build and publishing tools. So we can do poetry build, and like I said, we've got nothing in our files at the moment, but that doesn't matter, it's just for demonstration. And you can see that it's building two our zipped and our wheel files straight into a dist directory. So we've got those straight off the bat. Now, normally we'd need to create a setup.py using the dist utils and setup tools. And if we're publishing to different versions of Python, it gets really complicated as well. So I actually have a blog post on my website about some of the intricacies of publishing to different Python versions and how I overcame that with poetry. So feel free to check that one out. Um, yeah, but we've been able to kind of do away with all that and we just built it 
straight off the bat using this one tool, Poetry, which is great. It simplifies and makes things easier for us. And if we were to call Poetry Publish, it would ask for our username and password for PyPy to be able to publish this. So I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to publish an empty package. Um, but yeah, you can see how simple that is. It, you're able to do that straight out of um, out of the box. So something I don't like in poetry is the way that it handles environment variables and the way it makes you do things. Um, there's no handling for it out of the box. It expects the environment itself to handle that. Whereas in something like pipenv, so if we switch over to this pipenv tutorial I have here, it will actually load in the environment variables from an env file. Um, so here we could use something like this. Um, and we can actually have an environment variable in our code. So if we then do pipenv run scripts, ah, right, pipenv run Python script rather. So we can see that it's been able to load in this variable uh, no problem at all. Whereas doing the same here, we can't actually do that. We can't have scripts that load in environment variables. So here we need to do poetry add uh, python.env, which is a module for loading in n files. And then we need to import that within our script and use it there. And it's just a little niggle, but having to do it for every project is really nicely integrated in something like pipenv. And it is a minor frustration that I have with the tool. There's actually a PR or an issue on the Poetry um, project about this, uh, but the maintainer doesn't think it's something that he wants to add. So I don't think it's going to appear anytime soon. Yeah, so I thought this was a really uh, nice kind of... Um, addition to the kind of package management tutorials I've already done so far. I hope you enjoyed it, seeing some of the differences there. Um, and if you did, then please like the video. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I really enjoy seeing everybody who's subscribing and the comments that you've all been giving. Um, yeah, and until the next video, I will see you later. Bye.